Hi everyone and welcome to the HWBot World Series for Amateur and uh, this uh, is the final for the Amateur here in South Africa and I've been joined by Vivi. Hey Vivi, how are you doing? Good, good, good. Ready to see some amateurs kick some ass? <laughs> you, actually, you got your ass kicked yesterday evening at the uh, in the extreme final, so... Yeah, so I'm rooting for number two. <laughs> so that would be quite interesting to see the two guys uh, that did... Um, uh, qualified just before, so that was Anro versus G-Man. Anro uh, win that run on uh, XU by one point against wow. G-Man, that was so close. And on the second semi-final, we had UFC dis uh, UF Disciple against Cheese Jimmy, and uh, UF Disciple had a huge, ad huge advance against his opponent, and uh, so that's why he's now so he accessing really well. the final. Yeah, he did extremely well. Um, so we'll be commenting with Vivi on the uh, score and what the settings they are doing. So we'll first have a look at the system of the guys. We'll make sure that everything is ready for them. Um, so let's uh, let's wait that Peter is uh, finishing texting. Then we'll uh, maybe be able to uh, queue to him to <laughs> see what will be happening. So thank you guys for tuning in this uh, live uh, coverage of the HWBot World Series. Or amateur, Vivi. What do you expect from the two uh, from the two guys? Well, um, obviously, obviously the disi uh, disciples doing really well. Uh, I think he has a great advantage uh, because he's he's just been crushing it all the time. So we'll have to see what Anru can pull out of the hat because he really needs to step up his game if he wants to match disciple. So we'll we'll see what happens. That would be uh, quite interesting. Let's uh, cue to um, Peter, the judge. Peter, can you hear us? Uh, yep, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, are everyone is everyone ready for the next step in this game? Everyone's waiting for you, Truth. Oh, waiting for me. So uh, okay. So what can we talk? Are we talking about the about the weather? And okay. Okay, guys, uh, let's go. This is uh, the final of the HWBot World Series for amateur between Anro versus UF Disciple. Peter, it's up to you to lunch. Right. Guys, are you ready? All right, three, two, one, go. Woo! So this is it. The guys have 15 minutes to set the best score on wow, next to and you. And going fast. Oh, wow. So Anro is uh, going to 4.2 gigahertz at the moment. That's still just uh, the base, but there's something going on on the oh, oh. Uh. UF disciple. We're actually at 5.1 gigahertz. He went straight yeah. to it. Yeah, it uh, looks like his reference clock. He pushed it up really high, and that just blew the multiplier out of the water. <laughs> so let's see what he does next. Okay, oh. Anro is running. Is that Henry or you have disciples? Ooh, no, my bad. Uh, That's the wrong way around. My bad. Disciple <laughs> is running. It's Anru who accidentally pushed his speed clock too high. So you have disciple here on the blue team is running the benchmark is actually at 4.75 gigahertz. Really? Yeah. Not bad. And he's not throttling at all. Yesterday there was tons of throttling from everybody. So he already figured that out. He's at 1466, which is a very decent score. And that's actually one, one of the good score we had from this uh, yeah. from the semi-final. So he's starting quite fast in yeah. this uh, in yeah. this final. He that's really looks like he wants it. Yeah, he wants he wants to get the complete computer in the end. Eh? Yeah, it's an amazing prize for someone who just walks in to an event like this. Sit down, overclock a PC, you end up in the final, and you could walk away with a very great system. So this is it, uh, less than two minutes before uh, after the start, UF Disciple submitted the first score in this round. Okay, Anru is back in, opening XTU, getting ready. Now he needs to try again. 122 reference club. Oh, He's and we got a blue screen from UF Disciple. Yeah, Andrew's predicted frequency is 5.1 gigahertz, so he'll need to drop his multipliers if he wants that to work. So what we have here, um, Hanro is trying oh. to, to set a very high clock, 5.1 gigahertz. Why so high? Of course it won't. Of course it won't pass. 
will not think, work like this. I think he's uh, trying something that he learned, but uh, hasn't hasn't done the math on the multiplier and the reference clock together. So he needs to drop his multiplier by a lot to get that to go. But it's a good idea, it's a good plan, but I don't think you can up reference clock by 20, 20 units inside Windows. And these guys are amateur, so they're not allowed to go into uh, the BIOS so far. There is a, there's still a way you can do it. You can up the B clock by two, restart, up it by another two, restart. And that way you can end up with a very high B clock. But I don't think any of them would know how to understand that. Especially that it's only 15 minutes and yeah. it's already four it's minutes gone. <laughs> yes, it's too risky. <laughs> that's, quite in, uh, that's quite intense for, uh, for the guys as well. So here we are, we have Enro that is back in his game. It's a better reference clock than before. So 106 megahertz for the reference clock. Multiply, oh, he's trying to push very high straight from the beginning. It might apply, and no, the reference clock is too high. It can only go three units in Windows. This is the information from the pro. <laughs> <laughs> so here yeah, we so are if you look at if UFC you look at disciple, you can see with disciple he's going 101 base clock because he knows anything more will freeze. But still, he's almost 4.76 gigahertz. It must be the limit of this chip because as soon as they push more than 1.35 volts, they'll get thermal. I mean, current limit throttling. So. It's not a bad CPU he's running there, actually. You had to run XTU yesterday on the uh, Extreme Final as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, but we didn't have any of the limits they have here. <laughs> we can go into the BIOS and remove all limits. Here, no they, have limits. To, they have to sit with the limits from the BIOS. Uh, but they all use the same hardware. They are all using the same setup today. So it's based off a PSU of Seasonic 760 watts and the MSI. Uh, pro uh, gaming pro carbon z170 rgbs yeah, full mm. rgb light almost the score 1458 not improving his score so they're also using the intel core i7 6700k skew so that's the fastest highlight you can get on the market yep a uh, two times four gigabyte kit from jskill the same that you used yesterday actually yeah it's actually a very good bin of e die samsung and the coding solution, as they are not allowed to use liquid nitrogen, of course they are amateur. They are using the all-in-one water cooling system from Corsair the H80 IGT. Yep. Okay, Andrew's doing a, a better, a better approach this time. That will work. Okay, so let's so. see what uh, what can Andrew do. He's running the benchmark at 4.75 gigahertz. He's stopping because he knows he can't have any current limit throttling, otherwise the score will suffer. So during that time, UFC Disciple is uh, still going, pushing it. 4.75 gigahertz. He did change the processor cache ratio to 46 instead of 40. Uh, will that have a lot of impact, Vivi? Um, from what I've noticed, 10 points or 15 or maybe 20 but not not a lot i i would leave that as a last resort uh but if it's stable you might as well push it but it's not going to make you necessarily win or lose unless it's a, a very close battle so oh, we have the two overclocker now benching right now oh sadly the system oh. crashed on uf disciple side oh. Now Andrew is almost finished with his first run. At 4.7 gigahertz, 1.34 volts. Maybe we're expecting something in the 1,400 range. Ah, oh, it's something. 1,452 marks, so not... 14? So he's 14 points behind, I think. I'm very bad at calculating, so... <laughs> <laughs> so that was close, he just needs some more. So he's, uh, he's back, he's back at it again, he's re the same uh, the same system. He just 
just increase a little bit his, uh, his V core. That's the only thing he, he did change. And the process of cash ratio was at 40 and is now at 44. But that's it. He's eating the current limit throttling. So h how does that affect the, the score, Vivi? Well, the thing with current limit throttling is your core frequency drops. So as you run, you're running at a lower processor frequency, so your score is going to suck. So you would like to see no throttling at all. The guys are highly concentrated. It's almost the end of the benchmark here for Anru. And you got a score of 40, oh. 47. Yeah. So it's not improving his it's previous score. It's because of that throttling. So, as you can see, on the other side, UF's, UF Disciple is back at benching. He's benching at 4.77 GHz, so a little bit more than before. Like 1.3. Uh, That's crashed. Oh, and it's a blue screen! <laughs> from the blue team. Blue screen from the blue team. On the other side, of course. And so, now, so now is a good a uh, good example of what 4 gigahertz cache versus 4.4 will give you because he's finished this run before at 4 gigahertz cache. Now he's running at 4.4. So, if it's more than 14.55, then you can see the improvement from cache. Ah, you see, uh, didn't help today. How consistent is uh, is the benchmark when you run it multiple times? Um, XDU is pretty consistent. On air, I've noticed it could fluctuate a bit. Normally, when you have all the limits unlocked, it, you can score within margin. But yeah, it's all about getting a clean run. It's not about rerunning. It's if your system is stable, you'll get a pretty consistent score. Thing to see them so so far. 4.7 gigahertz for Anro. He's still not uh, taking the lead, and there's five minutes left already in this game, so this is going quite fast. Yeah. Temperature-wise, the maximum we saw was 73 degrees or 72 degrees. There is no thermal throttling so far. There's no power uh, power limit, no current limit throttling either. It's a 4.7 gigahertz benchmark running all the way to the end. He's still 14 points away from UF Disciple. Can you catch him with this frequency? We'll see it at but the end But he is rerunning a few times, so there could be a chance that one run might just pop. But for now... in 36. No, it's actually lowering the score every yeah. time. But he has the right idea. Just keep running and keep upping. I wouldn't touch the voltage. It's definitely hit his voltage, volt limit already. Well, let's see what UF Disciple just applied as a setting, 4.77 GHz. Oh, and he's hitting some throttling. But they know as soon as you throttle, it's gone. You need to lower that volt. So they need to find the lowest voltage possible uh, so that it doesn't throttle. And then just get the CPU to where it's stable at that volt. So most of these systems at 1.34 volts, they throttle. So... You have to set that voltage for and forget about it, and then just do CPU. And try to find the, the little tweaks around and the little settings you can change, yeah. but not touching that one anymore after that. Yes. What most of these guys should do is try to find the highest reference clock they can apply in Windows and drop the multiplier a bit. So both overclocker running the benchmark. So far, UF Disciple is in the lead. There is 3 minutes and 20 seconds left in this first leg. UF Disciple will get a... If he finishes this run, it... Oh, I crashed, I think. Oh, oh so close. and he crashed. So close. So close yet so far. And Andrew's got another score. 14 33. He didn't... Ste was not enough to go taking, catch on UF Disciple. Yeah, he's taking uh, small steps.
So this is it, 2 minutes and 30 seconds left in this uh, first leg of the final for the amateur here at the Ashbelwood World Series South Africa. You're still on Andrew while UF Disciple is restarting the system. So far there's a little bit of uh, current limit throttling, not that much, just a few percentage for uh, Anro. 14.34, still not managing to get as high as he, as he got just before and there's less than 2 minutes yeah, it's a fresh now. run, a fresh run, it gave him a nice score at the beginning. You have Disciple on the screen. Now benchmarking at 4.75 gears. A little bit less than before. He really want to finish the benchmark just to make sure he can get a, a new score, just to not have yeah, one yeah. score in this computer. Uh, in this computer. Oh, because he did lower his score of speed there, but he still crashed. Something's wrong in one of the settings, maybe. Yeah. This is going to be his, potentially his best score. And row here, 4.7 gigahertz. No thermal, no throttling at all. 73 degrees maximum on the package temperature so far. It's 58 Four seconds. Enables. Should someone announce to them one minute left? Peter is actually announcing that to the, uh, to the overclickers. Okay, There's three. 50 seconds left. This will be a pity. Uh, for Disciple if he gets beaten now while he's down. 14.41, still not good enough. There is less but than 40 he, seconds oh, now. He's going for it. Yeah, he oh. knows. He knows. He, know, he knows he has to go. Good. So that's the last few seconds oh. for the guys. This is in tight. Oh. oh, he's going for it big. So 4.7 gigahertz for Hanro is now benching. There's 12 seconds less, 10 this seconds may, now. Yeah, this may just give him that edge that he needed. But they're both running. Five. <laughs> oh, crash. Oh, oh, sadly, it crashed for Hanro. There's no way for him to do a better score at the moment. Let's go back to UF Disciple that is still benching. He's still in the lead, but maybe he can get a better score than 40 Even more points to add yeah. to his total. So that will be a good uh, good advance for him for the next uh, for the second match. For the part when they swap systems. Yep, and they will yeah. swap system after to be sure that uh, everyone is fair, or everything that the, the game is fair for them, and we will add up both of the score to get the total score. Oh, so it's let's gonna see. finish. It'll finish. Go for it. It's a finish. Go for it. Oh, it's oh the same. that's exactly <laughs> the same score. <laughs> so close, but sadly was not sufficient enough for that. So this is it, guys. That was the first match of this game. Hey, it's very between, close. And between Henro and UF Disciple. These guys were fighting it on XTU using the exact same um, system, but then now they will switch the rig, so that will uh, be completely fair for everyone. We do... Uh, <laughs> that was live, huh? <laughs> we live do make sure that uh, everyone have the same chance at, at winning in this, uh, in this competition. And so far, it's uh, quite interesting to, uh, to see how, uh, how they are. So there is about 14 points different between them. Yeah, it, it could amount to um, maybe the one system is better than the other one. So you might just see the one guy drop score and gain score on the other side. So it might still end up to be a very close match. That's going to be interesting to see if any of these guys manage to do a better score than their opponent on the, the system they had before. Oh yeah, that's what I'm interested in seeing. So you guys tuning in on this live let us know who you came from on the Twitch live chat or you can just uh, give, it, give that a thumbs up if you like that uh, UF Disciple is in the lead at the moment if you're watching this on the replay on YouTube. So the judge is actually making all the system back to the default. Yeah. Vivi, let's talk a little bit about um, what you had yesterday. So you were part of the extreme final. Yes. So you were, in the, you were actually in the final of the HWBOT World Series Extreme. 
and you had to bench XTU as well. So what is you had the, the same CPU, you had an MSI motherboard as well, the same memory kit, uh, but you have no limitation, no restriction, and you could use liquid nitrogen. So what was the difference in point between now and what you had, uh, what we had yesterday? Well, we we, we were at about 1,800 points. Uh, so it's a, a, almost like 400 more points than what they have here. And that was from CPU frequency and we could run the memory a lot faster than XMP, which is what they are running now. That's uh, that, uh, that was quite a different game, even if the, even that was the same uh, no base uh, you can compare yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. It was quite uh, quite fun to, to see and quite fun to comment as well. So I got information that uh, Massman might be ready. So let's see if he can hear us. Peter? Hello. Are you guys ready for the final? Yes, are you ready? Almost. Yes. Always. I am ready, so it's whenever you want. All right, guys, are you ready for the final round? On row. Seems he's not ready. ready. Yeah. Oh, okay, now everyone's ready. All right, <laughs> three, two, <laughs> one, go. And there you go. They go. 15 minutes, 15 minutes to set up the best score on XTU. They, are, they just switched their systems. Is this Anru now? Okay. Straight off the bat, Anru is going for a higher clock than Disciple could finish. Go so straight to eat. You can see Disciple is immediately going for a good score with a low clock just to be safe, just to get something out. can see UF, UF Disciple, he's running the benchmark. Anru will soon be doing the same. Anru is trying 30 megahertz more than Disciple. Quite tight. So 4.6 gigahertz for UF Disciple. While Oh, and we got a blue screen! We got a blue screen from the red team from Anne Rowe. So we had 14, what score did he have there? 14? 44, something like that. Yeah, 14, 41. So almost the same as what Anne Rowe achieved. But he's actually achieving that quite fast in the game. Yeah. So just yeah. in the in the first two minutes, he's actually really uh, going on for that. And yeah. that will uh, leave him a lot of space. For, uh, uh, for improvement. Yeah, so uh, his total there is what, uh, 2,907. So, he should be doing well. Uh, he went for a safe score quickly, just get it out. Now he'll push re uh, more relaxed, he'll, he can push the limit. Without the pressure of time. There's 13 minutes left in this competition. And in 30 minutes, we will know who is the winner of the SWBOT World Series here in South Africa. So the benchmarks just finished 14.49, improving He's by climbing. 8 points. By 8 points, improving his score. Oh, he went a whole multiplier up there. Let's see. Maybe he just want to catch up on the 14.52, and then he will scale yeah. down one multiplier and start again on the uh, yes. on the base clock. I think so. Oh, sadly, it didn't pass. It didn't went through for the complete uh, for the complete run. It did actually not even run that long at all. During that time, Anro is back in the system. Times for him to restart XTU, restart the benchmark. They have 12 minutes left. Make sure they can get a decent score. So, pushing to 1.35.348 volt. Trying do you to think avoid that, will, that uh, limit. Do you think that will, uh, yeah, you will have the current limit throttling? He's, uh, he's trying to avoid it. I think that should be just, un he might throttle just a tad there, but he'll find out soon enough. Yeah, so okay. he's just under, so he, he has to keep that voltage and just push CPU off to this. 
But that should be an uh, okay score. The two overclockers, Enro and UF Disciple, are now in XTU, changing some of the settings. So we have Enro that is benching at 4.71 gigahertz. Still didn't touch the processor cache ratio to give a little extra boost in the settings, in the score. But on the other hand, you have UFC Disciple. UF Disciple always that, cache. Yeah, always, always. That's always one of the first settings is changing. He, I think he doesn't want to mess around with low performance. <laughs> 1445 for Anro. So that's put him on the map. Still not good enough to uh, catch up on UF Disciple total he points. Did, he did push his cache ratio now. What we have is both overclocker trying as fast, as hard as they can to uh, compete in that. There's 18 point difference between them in total. UF Disciple is, uh, is being in the lead right now. And what you can see on the screen is both overclocker running the benchmark. Let's see if any of them have any issue. Still close. UF Disciple is running at 4.7 gigahertz while 173 uh, while we have uh, Anru that is at 4.71 gigahertz. This is so tight. What would be <laughs> the <laughs> what would be the score for H? We are all looking at with Vivi here in the in the streaming booth, looking at all the uh, <laughs> at all the uh, all the screen to see which one yeah, will exactly finish the, the first. Same. Oh, oh uh, there was there was a crash. So there was close. a crash on UF oh. Disciple. And oh, nine, nine minutes left. Directly going for it. Just rebenching at 4.72 gigahertz now. 45 multiplier for the processor cash ratio is at 1.347 volts so as we say that might that might be like the, uh, the the highest voltage you could apply on this system there is less than 9 minutes left in this second leg of the final for the Azure Robot World Series for amateur Fourteen thirty-nine for Anru, still not as good as his last score of fourteen forty-five. During that time, UF Disciple is still restarting the system, giving some advantage to his opponent of uh, trying to change a little bit the settings. So you see, he, he, he did hit the current limit throttling, so he just reduced the voltage a little bit for that. That should fix it. So it far, it he, seems to working. Yeah, yeah it means he understands what's going on. If I was these guys, I'd find find the max limit, restart, go straight to it, and do a fresh run. So you have disciple is back in the system, but still not yet benching, adjusting a little bit. The, um, the reference clock and the core voltage. They both have similar core voltage. Yeah, I think uh, the I think the current limit is the same because. Uh, because Andrew's score board. 1437 still not his best score. Yeah, I think it's because the rerunning, the rerunning might not be help helping. Because Disciple's big run was his first run. We have seven minutes left in this competition to know who is the champion of the HWBOT World Series for Amateur here in South Africa. You have Disciple crashed, you have to restart again the system. Anro is still benching, still at 4.72 GHz. It, it, it did increase a little bit the reference clock to, uh, to gain some few extra megahertz for it. So far didn't eat any throttling. Package temperature is about 80 degrees. See, 
Let's see the score. The score is 14.45. That's exactly oh. the same one he got before. No, he got... Oh, yeah, before on the <laughs> same setup. <laughs> Damn. So it, this didn't allow him to gain some point in the in the ranking yet. But still, it's like 18 points you have to go catch up. Yeah, but if you think about it, if you look at the points, if he just matches what Disciple could run on that system, he can win. Definitely. But so far, each of these overclockers are below what their opponent did on the exact same system. Yeah. Maybe the systems have had some heat to them, heat to them now. Five minutes, 20 seconds left. A new score by Hanro very soon. 14.42, so it's no more than uh, what he had just before. Let's see what UF Disciple can do with his score. He's benching at 4.75 gigahertz. He didn't touch the cash ratio this time. Maybe he, maybe he, after each run, it hasn't improved. So he maybe just, just uh, decided to leave it. I see it both might, overclocker benchmarking at the moment. It might help stability if you just leave it at 4 gigahertz. And just touch it at the very last and you know like, oh, this is the max settings I can get yes. and then just touch this one to get some, like, a, a few that's, extra points. That's correct. Maybe CPU frequency helps more than cash. 1452 and he's improving uh, his core by 3 go. points. Oh. So this is you know, extending the Un lead. He matched Unruh on the same system. That's going to be interesting to uh, to see what Andrew can do because he can do he, he can do 1466 because that's what yes. exactly UFC Disciple did before. But he's on a hundred point four base clock. Disciple was on one hundred one point six, so the memory was overclocked. Everything was overclocked. So he'll he won't match that score this way. Let be interesting. Let's see. Stop the benchmark on UF Disciple side. Anro is benching. Going through it. So UF Disciple just run oh, the benchmark, close. stop it at 4.75, and he applied the uh, 43 um, multiplier to the to the um, first cash ratio, but sadly it crashed right after. So there's 3 minutes and 20 seconds left in this final. Uh, 14.37 didn't uh, add Henro to improve his uh, score in this match of the final. Going to go a little bit more for the voltage. But that yeah. that's it, he's hitting the current limit uh, throttling I think you that. just have to leave it, you can't. So that is the very limit he can do with this CPU yep. then. Yeah, so that's why you need to use play with base clock to get the memory going faster so you can get a better score. There's 2 minutes and 40 seconds left in this final of the HWBOTS World Series 2016 here in South Africa. This is awesome! <laughs> Both of the overclockers are now in XTU, the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. It's more exciting to watch. If it was pros, we'd just see people in the BIOS <laughs> all the time. And going so fast that you can actually not even comment. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause it's> uh, <laughs> okay, 4.5, 1.2, 1.6, 1.6. Timing, five. sub timing, <laughs> third timings. <laughs> just the time to say it is actually longer than you can see it on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> So we have um, we have UF Disciple that is benching at 4.77 gigahertz. If he passes, that's higher than he, he could run on this previous system. But I think it crashed already. Yeah. Uh, it did yeah, crash indeed. It's gone. Didn't went through. Hanro is almost finishing his run at 4.73 gigahertz. Oh. 
Sporting 47 improving by two points his score and this is one minute and 20 seconds until the end. UF Disciple is actually restarting the system at the moment. This will give Hanro some useful seconds advance to uh, Hanro's going maybe for change. It now. He's going crazy now. He, oh. he knows, he knows he doesn't have much time. Yeah, he shouldn't touch the vaults. It's just gonna throttle. Yeah, throttling. He, he have less than one minute to do this last adjustment. So improving the oh. reference clock. Oh, not too much. Oh, but he didn't reduce the core voltage. Uh, no. yes. It will, it will hit the current limit throttling as well. Oh yes, it's it's going four percent again. There's oh. forty seconds left. I would, I would just back it up again. Don't waste time. Oh, what is it? Doing? That's the that's the core voltage. That's the issue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh damn, I think it's the last minute stress. Oh, no, it crashed. Man. Man, oh no, no. Did it? Man, it crashed. Yeah, it crashed. Oh, damn. Man. So there's 15 seconds. Oh, and it's a blue screen. 10 minutes, 10 seconds before the end. That was awesome. So we have UF Disciple. That is going to be the victor. Finish. All done. This is it. The final is over. We know who is the winner, the big champion of the HWBOT World Series here in South Africa. Ah, that was awesome. UF Disciple deserved to win. He yes. did great on both systems. most prepared. That was quite, uh, quite impressive to see the guys like going up and up and they're debriefing what, yeah. is, uh, what is happening. So Vivi, what did we add here was just two amateurs that had no clue whatsoever about overclocking before. Yeah. And they, they, they had their first competition. There is a crowd here watching at the, what's going on. Yeah. They are quite happy uh, with what's, uh, That's very what exciting. we can see. Yeah. You guys, fair play. Well done. Well done, guys. That would be quite, into, uh, be quite fun to see. We'll maybe ask, ask them some question on the live. Yeah, sure. It sure. sounds like a good idea. We will have um, maybe have them on the live in the next few minutes, but uh, until that time, uh, we are here with Vivi from South Africa. Hey, Vivi, how are you still doing? Uh, I'm still doing great. I had a, a small LNT session just before that didn't go so well, so I came uh, came here, sat here at the live stream. Perfect, Did and we, we love this, and I'm pretty sure all the viewers like this as well. And if you guys are watching this on Twitch, you can always uh, follow us, or if you're watching the replay on YouTube, you can give a thumbs up to have uh, Vivi more often on the live stream with us. That would be cool to, uh, that would be cool to do uh, more stuff like this. Yeah, 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 I agree. It's fun to do the, the, the commentary, especially with oh, pro yeah. overclockers uh, like, like you guys. It's great to see what people think. <laughs> what people think. Indeed, that's... Uh, this is the HWBOT World Tour 2016 in South Africa. We had the HWBOT World Series for Extreme yesterday, and we have the HWBOT World Series for Amateur today. We know who is the champion for the World Series for Extreme. That is Dr. Will that finished first. Uh, you are second, actually, Dr. Mr. Mr. Vivi. You are second after Dr. Wiz, and then that was Quantum X finishing yeah. third. And for these uh, amateur Final the HW World Series for Amateur. We now have the final ranking, Anro against UF Disciple, and we end up are having UF Disciple being the champion. UF Disciple is the new and the first champion ever of the HW World Series 2016 in South Africa. So big congratulations to him. Yeah, very well done to him. He was very so, prepared. Yeah, and we will have the award ceremony in the next few uh, minutes and we will uh, catch up with the guy uh, on the on the on the stream after that i really want to see uh, how you have disciple did um did think about this the uh, his run especially because he did a, a pretty good run on the second half of oh, the uh, yeah. the yeah, second yeah, half yeah. of the game yeah he managed to match Andrew's score and the run he did on his own system was just very very well done well, that's that's interesting to see that they they both had the as you said the exact same score on yeah. the exact same system. Yeah, so it was must have been the limit of that system. Interesting to see that they both maxed out that uh, that system indeed. 
And if we look at the previous um, at the previous competition, the score are actually higher than what was uh, what, than what was achieved. So 14, 1452 for Anro on one system was actually the same system he used at first uh, on the semi-final. So he did improve by oh. 10 points on the same system. Yeah, so it means he, he kept improving, which is good. Mm -hmm. And 1455 was the maximum on that specific system. Um, the before. same one that they got 50... Oh no, that was 15 to 2. No, so actually that system was 1452, the maximum point you could get on it. Oh, so so he, he, he did do better b before. Okay. That is quite uh, quite interesting to see this uh, full amateur that didn't knew much about overclocking before uh -huh. and that had no experience in competitive overclocking before to be here, stand up and uh, be able to... Uh, to, to, to catch up on, uh, on, on all this, that's, uh, that's quite, uh, quite good to see. Uh, Vivi, what did you think about the, uh, doing the one versus one for the amateur? One versus one format is, uh, when I did it with, against Dr. Wees last night, it's definitely a very exciting format. And what I, what I like about it is the 30 minutes. It's so fast uh, that you have to th think on your feet and use all the experience you have to get a good result in that short amount of time and I think that's what makes it so exciting is how quick it is and spectators enjoy it because they just said stand there for 15 minutes not two hours <laughs> it's actually uh, a good format to do the, the commentary 15 minutes it's super 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 tight it is super tight to have 15 minutes to do that yeah it's ridiculous even for you the over the extreme of is 30 minutes but it's 30 yeah. minutes using ln2 so every time you crash and you have to eat up and stuff like yeah. this it's like it takes so two minutes, many yeah. seconds precious seconds being yeah. lost and uh, i think we will be able to move quite soon to the uh, award ceremony in the next few uh few seconds i'm not sure we will have uh, the, uh, the the commentary from um, from Mr. Peter, but we will do the commentary here from the streaming booth. Vivi, hello, hi guys. Hello. So you were joking yesterday about uh, training your cat to uh, to kill Doctor Wiz because he, he bet you in <laughs> in the extreme. Yeah, I tried. Didn't happen, eh? No, the cats have fell asleep instead. <laughs> you were actually asleep when we came back. <laughs> That's true, I was tired. <laughs> okay guys, we now have the go that we can go into the uh, SWBOT World Series Final Award Ceremony for the Amateur. Let's go straight to it. We do have the microphone, so we will uh, be the doing. So the first guy to enter is G-Man236. Congratulations. He managed to do a great score of 28.64 points. That was so close from Hanro at by only one point, one wow. point difference. That was super, super, super close for him. And he's, he's coming place. back home with uh, the third place now. The third place is <laughs> is Cheese Jimmy. And he did 28.69 points. Uh, as you can see here on the live, he's winning one of the uh, G-Skill Trident Z memory kit and some uh, gears from Intel. You can see Nathan from Intel South Africa here on the live. The second guy is Anru. Anru with 28.99 points in total. 28, 99 points in total. That was a tough battle here. Uh, first against G-Man, one point only in advance. And then during the grand final uh, against UFC, UF Disciple. So he's going back home with a special uh, special set of hardware. He's going back home with the, the PSU motherboard and a special, uh, and special device. device. That is um, by Stricom. Dodo also got some good, 
good stuff. And there's a discussion going on like, oh yeah, what can I do with the hardware, stuff like this. So yeah. this is it. Moving on to the winner of the Edge Rebot World Series, UF Disciple. Congratulations, congratulations, man. That was an awesome performance that you put out there. Uh, first of all, the 20, uh, 2902 score, total score against Jimmy was just a long time advance. And uh, then at the final, he had, although a good advance, managed to push out the system to the max, something that Hanno did not manage to do in the, uh, in the grand final. Congratulations, you're going back home with a complete system uh, that you can now build a complete new computer with the Seasonic PSU, the MSI motherboard, the GISC graphic, uh, the GISC memory CPU from Intel, and a compute stick as well, I think. That's it. And a bench cable. Yeah. Uh, the open no, it's a power cable. bank, I think. Power bank, or, yeah. Or is yeah, it a I don't see it from here anyway. <laughs> So we have here the four contestants for the HWBOT World Series for Amateur. So you can see that, yes, indeed, on the live chat, uh, Shabada Baza. Oh, I did, it, I, did, I did say it right from the first time this time. Woo. He did? Shabada Baza. Shabada Baza. You have Disciple is all smile. Well done. Indeed, that is well done for the first time in here in this uh, in the That's competition. That's very exciting. Like I this. mean, he, you win so much hardware as an amateur. And you get that first taste of a live uh, overclocking event. And I think that's just very exciting. That is quite in, uh, quite impressive indeed. Hey, uh, oh, we have Massman passing by in behind the stream booth. And uh, well, I think we will take a short break and come back with the interview of the overclockers and maybe some special guests right here. So stay tuned, guys. Um, this is not yet the end of the stream. We will uh, have some questions with the, uh, the amateur. So tune in and uh, let us know if you want to have some questions for them. Until then, you know you can always go on the uh, website and win some awesome prizes, overclockingtv.com for slash flatfall. You can win a Seasonic PSU 1000 watt power supply, one MSI Gaming Pro Carbon uh, motherboard, a G-Skill 2x4 gigabyte memory kit, DDR4 of course, the Trident Z edition, and one of the three thermal flasks from HWBot. Thank you, Vivi, for being with us uh, yeah, for no the commentary problem. of the final. I highly yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, and no uh, we will definitely see you again soon. And Thank in you. the next few minutes, we'll be having the interview with the winner.